You're watching The Mic Check on every Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to The Mic Check. Tonight, we're going to bury a car. Okay, not quite like that. The script is called Bury It. And it's about car insurance. And it's a play on words. Lots of fun. Little, Not just a little tongue in cheek but a lot of comedic kind of stuff. I mean, there's, you know, a little bit of comedic timing and, you know, fun dialogue script going on here, but it is a piece of commercial copy. And uh, what two people would like to take this first? I'll go. And I see, I see okay. Leslie raising her hand or so Michael and Leslie. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that sounded like romper room. And Leslie's raising her hand, and oh, I see little <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Before oh, we started, I see little Leslie lay, raising her hand. Okay, okay. children. I was the captain of the too. girl. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, we do have an announcer, Thank too. Announcer. Uh, JD will, can take announcer then. Okie doke. All right, so Leslie, do you want to be VO1 or two? Uh. Jenna Kirapel, I'll go for one. Okay. Ready? Absolutely. Michael, doing a little gardening? Nah, I just buried my car. You buried your car? Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant bear Ian Barry insurance. I meant Barry, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianberry.com. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. I want to hear Richard be VO2. Um, okay, VO2. All right. <clears throat> Leslie, and... you get to choose who's the next VO1. Okay. Um, Nathan. Okay. And who's our next announcer? Andrew. All right. All right. Okay. So I am I... VO2, apparently. Okay. No, sorry. I'm two. Okay. You're two. Yeah, you're one. Okay. Ah, doing a little gardening. Nah, I just buried the car. Buried your car? Yep. Uh, why? Because of what you said. It, me? Yeah, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury, not bury. It. <laughs> oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Nice. Okay. Up next, Golda. Frank, you're number two. Uh, and I'll go with John Stafford for an answer. I'm number one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Who is number one? Sorry. You're number one. You're number <laughs> one. <take> number six. <laughs> number six, you are number one. Um, doing a little gardening? Nah, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Nah. Why? Because of what you said. <laughs> well, yeah. You said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Ooh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Next voice number two shall be... 
John Knowles. <laughs> uh, Russ? Cool. And Tim. All right, here we go. Hey, doing a little gardening? Nah, I just buried the car. You buried the car? Yep. Uh, why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Oh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury, not bury it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 or visit ianberry.com. Oh, I think um, that just leaves Dan, Devin, and Joe. Yeah, Tim, your, your gain is once again really, really low. Okay, how about now? Crank that up a bit more. Is that good? That's yeah, perfect. that's good. Okay. Sorry, guys. No worries. Had a, just got a new computer, so just having so much fun with this train. <laughs> All right, so who's, up, who's up finally? Who's the last ones? Dan, Devin, and Joe, somehow. Dan, Devin, and Joe. Okay. I don't know how they're going, though, so. Uh, Devin gets three. to be number two. Yes. Oh, okay. Who was yes, Devin's two. Number two, Devin. Oh, Devin two. Okay. Okay. Now who's VO1? Ross, Dan or Joe? VO1. I'm doing VO1 again? No, no, no you're choosing three. who's next, Dan or Joe for VO1. Oh, Dan, sorry. Okay, that makes Joe the announcer. Yep. All right. Doing a little gardening? No, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah, he said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Oh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. All right. <laughs> well, we got through everybody pretty quick, but should we start? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Thank you, Dan, for the uh, list. <laughs> should we uh, do a few mix-ups or should we go into the script first before we do some mix-ups? I think we should go into the script before we do some mix-ups. I agree. I agree. Yeah. All righty then. So let's talk about the script, shall we? Nathan, did you have any notes you wanted to bring up? Um, not in particular. The thing of it is, is this one is pretty much all about timing and um, of course, the the tiny little play on words, which seems to matter less than the uh, comedic timing in the whole thing. That uh, Devin's uh, uh, look on her face added so much to her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I noticed a lot of people missed. After the first bury it, I meant bury it, not bury it, in that bottom for VO one line, they missed the it after I meant bury, not bury yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I did, and I transcribed this script myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while, while I was listening, the thought occurred to me that none of the VO twos sounded like they just buried a car. I really wanted to hear yeah. that. Mm. <laughs> I just buried a car. Yeah, <laughs> that is a very good point. That is there a very is good point. There is a place where VO2 is extremely confident about having buried it. When he hits that, <laughs> yep. It's like, you yep. buried your car? <laughs> yep. Sure did. <laughs> you know, that kind of... <laughs> so there's a, there's a bit of confidence, and at the same time, then there's a, hey, but you gave me this great advice, so I put it in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so then um joe your idea is that a person or vo2 just used a shovel to dig out the hole and push the car in themselves and whatnot right yeah, that's what you yeah. want to hear more of i want to hear more exhausted and then since yeah. the way the copy's written i probably also want to hear vo2 be more like um hank kimball from green acres just kind of 
completely clueless, you know, ah, just buried a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah that, that's, that's, that's another thing that that's actually something I was going to bring up. Um, it felt like uh, this was really like wrote almost a boring transaction between two people. Um, a lot of what I heard, the VO1 didn't seem super surprised, just a little like off put, I guess. Because I mean, this is this is literally somebody who who yeah. who took the time to bury a whole car. I'd like to hear a little bit more surprise out of people. And then at the very end, uh, with that last O, oh, I, I didn't really hear too much of that. Like you know, suddenly it clicked moment. It was more of just a <laughs> oh, you were reading it. Like yeah, a lot of people a... were just reading the O. Oh. That's the moment where it's like. I'm an idiot. I have been stupid this whole time. I sat here and buried my car for no good reason. And now I need to dig it out again. Yeah, that should be not only one light bulb, but all the light bulbs going on. <laughs> That's a Christmas tree. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh. The fireworks are finally going off in the car, you know, in the head. Oh. You know, like I wasted all of that time burying this car for nothing. So I can't believe I put it in the ground and buried it like that and it shouldn't have <laughs> um actually something i noticed about the announcers is there wasn't a whole lot of play between insure and barry because that's that, that's supposed to be a play on what's what's already happening in the rest of the script so i'd like to hear a little bit more of like a a, a teeter-totter like back and forth uh, some kind of emphasis on insure and barry don't just insure it bury it you know a lot of it was don't just insure it, bury it. You know, really straightforward. This is a, this is definitely a callback to uh, the misunderstanding that happened earlier. It could be a little bit fun. You could have a smile on your face, but I'd love to hear a little bit of interplay between that. Um, but honestly, with the rest of it, calling in Barry Insurance at one eight hundred. Yeah, you, there's there's no way you can friendly that up any more than you guys have. So <laughs> all did fantastic with that. But I'd like to hear a little more interplay with the insure and Barry because that's obviously a callback to the joke we just finished making earlier. So um mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to add one more pet peeve of mine mm -hmm. in that um for me Barry and Barry are pronounced exactly the same. Mm -hmm. There's the bur Burry just mm -hmm. it, it sets my teeth on edge. When I hear Burry. <laughs> Buried in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah on top of that, um, uh, the um, uh, the other thing is, is uh, at, at the last VO1 line, a lot of people didn't seem to know what to do with, uh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. Like that was really glossed over. And even sometimes, you know, some of it was, uh, was even uh, ignored too. Um, that's where you're supposed to clarify the product. It's the insurance. That's the brand you're going for. That was re really missed with most of these reads. I meant Ian Barry insurance. Mm -hmm. So that's where you want to hit the product. I meant bury it, not bury it. Mm -hmm. Ian Barry insurance. So hit insurance right there. On that last VO1 line, you, that's the clarification. That's why, you know, the other person gets it. You know, yeah, you said if you're not happy with your insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. So I guess do not ignore that first half of the line. Do not let that slip. That is that's the client. That's your paycheck. <laughs> Make sure that that's yeah. important. That's that's who's paying you to do this. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm at Ian Barry Insurance. So I'm assuming that VO2 uh, is actually named Ian. I don't know, just a thought. <laughs> but that's just, anyway. Yeah. Um, so, Ian Barry it. <laughs> yeah. So then let, let's go ahead and come up with some descriptive words that we can call back to for each of these. Um, go ahead, uh, describe to me who's VO1, who is this person, what, what kind of grasp on reality or like what role do they play in the script, who are they? Let's hear some just single descriptive words we could write down and keep in mind for this person. The, the straight man? Yeah, the straight man. Well. Yeah, the straight okay. man. That is straight the man. word for that. Dull. Rational? Yeah, rational. Okay, intelligent. 
present, maybe oh, somebody who's friend. who knows what's going on. Oh, one, that's yeah, obviously he noticed that the guy was yeah. gardening, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing something in the dirt for sure. Yeah. <laughs> he is the Bud Abbott of the two. That's right. <laughs> nope. yeah, I'd like to hear. Uh, uh, this is just a personal thing for me. Uh, I would have loved to hear a little bit more of uh, like curiosity or guessing in that approach, like mm -hmm. doing a little gardening. You know, like what's going on now? Yeah. It's Tim Allen's neighbor, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. Hi, ho, neighbor. Doing a little gardening. It's Wilson yeah, versus Tim <laughs> Allen. <laughs> Wilson yeah. versus Tim Allen. Yeah, this is this is basically right? like from an episode of Tool Time. Um, <laughs> but uh, and in a couple of those. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tool Time um, meets what's her name from Friends. Um, yeah. <laughs> Phoebe. Phoebe. So then, yeah, so so let's go ahead. So the VO one is the is the the straight man is the as the 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 rational person is the reality in the whole thing because this is reality versus absurdity. Yeah. So then, um, are there any other descriptive words we could apply to VO one? Maybe something that could help us just keep that idea in mind of who we need to be. Inquisitive. Helpful. Help Inquisitive. Helpful. helpful. Yeah. Those are, those are some good ones. Yeah. Neighborly. Yeah. Neighborly. Yeah. Okay. Neighborly. Neighborly. I was trying to say neighbor, but that doesn't work. Neighborly. Yeah, that would be yeah. <laughs> uh, not necessarily a neighbor, but Secret they're just kind English, of like, if you yeah. want to describe Wait, something, add Lee at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> One of my favorite lines is English is difficult, but it can be uh, it can be figured out through tough, ter through tough, thorough thought, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Nothing like that. I grew up speaking English. I can't even say that line. Anyways. So I think we've got a I think we've got a really good solid round of descriptions for VO1. So yeah. however you want to do it on your on your script, make sure to note those down that this person is is the straight man, is neighborly, is 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 rational, is inquisitive, is helpful. <laughs> so now let's describe VO2. Who is this person? Literal. Literal? Literal, yes. A it bit goes. ditzy. Yeah. Marley Fife. Marley Fife. Clueless. Clueless. Oh, Clueless is a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, oh, I'll bury the car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, he said bury it, so guess I'll bury it. <laughs> Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll go with character ah. archetypes here. Yes, the Peter Griffin or the Homer Sims of the group yeah. is vo2 Don't. um Don't. but uh le, le, but specific uh, specific descriptor words i like literal um clueless is a good one uh absent-minded maybe yeah you know, I, I, i'm trying to come up with a way to describe somebody who's totally convinced of something until they're absolutely wrong um got her brain stubborn <laughs> yeah stubborn uh, but not, not exactly that, misinformed simple some simple. Misinformed. simple, simple, simple is a good one. Yeah, good. Um, hmm. how do you say they're not? They don't clarify. All I heard it that way, so it must be instead. Yeah, literal. I think literal. literal is probably okay. the right okay. the right word to put there for it, and which I believe was already was already brought up. Yeah, I've got yeah. literal, clueless, and simple for what we've put down so far. Yeah, I think that's I think that's that's pretty good. There really isn't a whole lot of depth to that character. You know, yeah. there's not no. a whole lot extra you could really pull out for it unless somebody has something else that maybe they were thinking of. Yeah. It, it is literally and, and, and no offense to anyone who is blonde headed in the room, um, but it's literally the blonde stereotype. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just somebody who's completely yeah. oblivious. Yeah. OK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we already did a little bit of the uh, of the specifics on the script, like Ian Barry insurance. I'm in bury it, not bury it. Mm -hmm. um, and the effects. I, 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 think, I think I think the the only other note that I that I'd really like to see it's mostly on VO one um, is the second VO one line. You buried your car. I like to hear a little bit of incredulity in that. You buried, buried your car. You, like, did, did I hear you correctly? <laughs> yeah, almost like, oh, wait, 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 what? You buried your car? What? You know, I just like to hear, you know, the, the person really surprised that this other person simply couldn't understand a turn of phrase. <laughs> hey, Mike, what about the part yeah. where uh, Joe brought up? Uh, I meant bury it, not bury it. Um, so the first part maybe said slow. I meant bury it, 
not bury it, you know? Mm -hmm. Does that, that help distinguish the difference between the two berries since they sound the exact same? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think although yeah. differentiating that is mostly going to come from your emphasis. Yeah, I mean bury it, not bury it. Yeah, mm. big thing about this is, and this is this is the fun bit about this. It's radio copy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that play on words has really got to make sense to the listener's ears, even though it's two of the same sounding words. Which, being that the listeners hearing this commercial about car insurance, guarantee. Oh, They've really? seen this, the billboards, you know, the <laughs> flyers that come in the mail, all of that. So they already pretty much got an idea of what's being spoken about once they finally get to, I meant Ian Barry insurance. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think pronouncing it differently is going to really work. That's, I, that's again, a, a play on the joke that just happened yeah, uh, yeah. is that they're supposed to sound exactly the same. Mm -hmm. But it's it's context that's going to make it different. Yeah, so, right. um, but thank you actually for bringing that up, Nathan. You you totally reminded me that I absolutely skipped a step. I forgot to ask what this was being used for, whether yeah. it's audio visual or audio only. And yes, it is audio only. <laughs> only. Yeah. Why so descriptive? <laughs> you know, which it doesn't seem that descriptive on the outset. You know. Aside from the fact that it's making mention a few times of buried the car, buried the car, the car is in the ground, buried the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did anybody have any other questions about the script? Any any particular points or anything else they might have wanted to bring up? Okay. <laughs> I'd say that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Pretty much got it. <laughs> Everybody's, yeah. we're all happy with it. So <laughs> now it's just for the execution. Leslie, Michael, JD. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Golda said she has a drop out early, and <laughs> Phil just joined us. So um, on that read where Golda was, Phil can take her place if um, she needs to go. Are we keeping That's the good. same character? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep the yeah. same, yeah, the same sections. We're just going to try to uh, now hit all of our, uh, all of the notes that we took about the script itself. Go on VO2. Put them up within the group. So you, the, That's the, after the fact. group will read three yeah. times. The, the first reread, we're going to do what we did and then we can switch them up. Or are we going to go through everybody again one time and then go back and switch up? Yes. No, I, well, we've got plenty of time. I think every group can switch between all three. Okay, okay. Cool. all three rolls. Awesome. I really don't want to bury anything tonight. I just do really want to do the announcer. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get to it. You definitely will. Fine. All right. Yeah. So, Leslie, you're going to be starting out as VO1. I'll be VO2. And then our announcer was JD. JD. Yes. Hey, doing a little gardening? No. I, I just buried my car. You. Buried your car? <laughs> yep. Why? Uh, well, because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianberry.com. All right, opening it up. What did everybody think of that read? I think I've heard JD on the TV before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I run plenty of spots that do that 1-800-888 kind of number. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Like, I liked your interpretation of the character. You did a good job. Nine, seven, six. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Him sitting yeah, there, costume, with a shovel in his hand. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I tried imagining what I would sound like if I had, like, a shovel in my hand and I'm just taking a quick break from digging a big pit and burying it back up. Yeah, I thought Leslie was very incredulous with, you just did what? what? <laughs> 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 The only part on Leslie's was the first line, I doing a little gardening. It just sounded like you're just you're just doing a little gardening. It, it didn't. There was no. I, I tripped over the line. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's why. Well, I, it's because I was gardening. 
you're going to ask somebody doing a little gardening it's because the amount of plot that's going to be dug up for what's buried underneath for a car is going to be a <laughs> about the right size for a home gardener so yep. it's going to look like oh you've been telling up you've been you know doing a little gardening huh Double funeral, maybe. Depends <laughs> <laughs> on my mood that day. <laughs> so you're will, telling so me you I'll bury the insurance guy too? Hmm? <laughs> so were there any other were there any other notes for changes other than that first line? Were there any other for changes? VO one? Would that be a little too condescending when she said I meant Ian Barry Insurance since it's a commercial? Should it be maybe condescending but not too condescending? I, I know they don't want you to go too angry or too I would say naked to be on commercials. Or was it okay? I think I sounded angry, Devin. <laughs> <laughs> um, <God. laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. Did, did anybody did anybody hear the same thing that Devin did? Like, does anybody agree with, with what? Uh, I'm angry, but condescending. <laughs> A little okay. bit. JD. Uh, did I I'm telling him they're an idiot. A little bit of anger. Kind of, yeah. A little uh, bit. Okay. <laughs> you what? Kind of annoying. Where is your car? You come And then they should have sounds of beating <laughs> Richard, the neighbors are killing each other again. Look at this, Richard. Bring out the hoses. Bring out the hoses. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, fuck it. But, but, no, it, did, 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 did Leslie's performance sound angry or a little more more condescending than it should have to anyone else? Just a little. I, just a little. Just a little? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, Mike yeah. missed the word the after buried. You said buried the car, buried the car or something. I think you said buried my car. Yeah, my car. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I said my and at the no, end, no, no, Mike, no, Mike did. Oh, Mike. me. I, I probably did ad lib mine instead of I just buried the car. Yeah. And at the Wait, end, like did when I you did that? the O, oh, you're the one that said it should be more, and it didn't sound like a whole bunch more to me. It was a, actually, no. I think a, a tiny bit of ad libbing on this is not hurtful. It actually keeps the life in it. Yeah, yeah I agree. So, you know, if you throw something in there or change a word, yeah. this kind of copy, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's really. So copy. did I do that? Did I screw up? The no, no, no. You, uh, he was. No, that was that was that was me. No, Mike screwed everything up. You were yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's my well, fault. That's yeah. for your condescending attitude. <laughs> you were wonderful. Um, you were but you were wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I guess. Uh, when it comes to the last VO one line, just make sure to really emphasize insurance. Like you're you're trying to clarify, get through my thick skull. Then again, I don't I don't under I don't know if you know having that little extra condescending would be a bad thing in this particular situation because it seems like the other person is so dense. Yep. Trying to spell it out for them and being nice about it's just not going to work. <laughs> Yeah. I think I think that's playing to the joke a little bit, but I I mean I don't know if you guys heard something different, then well, let's try something different. Maybe yeah, I, I didn't I, notice it, so yeah, Maybe actually, it was, I, I hear, right about, I hear via one, one if the I meant I think the the name Ian needs a little bit of accentuation. I meant I, Ian Barry Insurance. I think the whole from from to bring it out wiser coaches than I am for sure. Wiser script commentarians. Commentators, mm -hmm. commentators. Why is that ever a word? Um, <laughs> billboarding the whole thing. Yeah. Instead of just insurance, because you yeah. want them to remember Ian Barry insurance. So, right. yeah. one of my favorite guys, Everett and Oliver. Yep. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Same thing with Scott Parkin. Boom, boom, boom. The same. Yeah. And it's sort of impl implicit in the joke that you need to have Barry attached to something so that you know that he's saying bury it or she, bury it, not bury it, that the bury is Ian Barry, not insurance. Yeah, I mean, I think you clarify any anything about the joke that you're referencing when you say, I meant bury it, not bury it, but the I meant bury it. But, but it only makes sense Barry. if you have the Ian Barry oh, as the what the bury is. What the very yeah. so Leslie, if I'm understanding <laughs> it, uh, that line should be changed to something more like I meant Ian Barry insurance. I I would right like you know, step unless, step step. Unless the you know unless somebody on 
the other <laughs> side of the mic says, you know, pop the insurance, then I would give it the I would give all three words mm -hmm. in that title equal billing. Yep. Okay. Well, let's give it a try that way. I'll try to fix. Uh, I just bury the car instead of my car. <laughs> and don't forget the pause after insurance. And the ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, <laughs> Leslie, give us a start whenever you're ready. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, doing a little gardening? Ah, uh, nah. I just, uh, I just buried the car. You buried your car. Yep. Why? <laughs> because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. <laughs> uh, I meant Ian, bury insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. <laughs> uh, Michael's light bulb moment sounded like, I better call an ambulance. There's a guy in that car. <laughs> I, I, I tried playing that one up a little bit more. I, I really did. It was I, good. I, I, oh, that was sounded good. good, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Well, what 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 about um what about Leslie's performance? Did that did she hit all the notes that we went over? Oh, yeah. yeah, I I thought yeah. it was great. Yeah, I thought so too. Yep. I thought the entire thing was good. Yeah, yeah. I thought it worked really well. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I I thought and, she was uh, so incredulous about it that <laughs> seriously, you just what? And it was <laughs> right the realizing what they did because of something they said. Hey, back the bus up. Not what I said, no. pal. You weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of sounded like not not condescending, but like this isn't the first time this kind of thing has happened. Yes, <laughs> like, like which, which makes it funnier too, because yeah, because yeah. now you have a full character of VO two. It's like, <laughs> oh god, oh man, another one of those situations. <laughs> All right, so shall we swap up? So Leslie, yeah. you said you wanted to take over um, as announcer, so you can go ahead and be the announcer this time. Uh, JD, did you want to be VO one or two? Uh, well, you were just VO two, so uh, yeah, you were just VO two, so I'll do VO. All right, so you get to be the uh, the the totally um, harebrained VO two. Sure, I, I, I can do that. <laughs> Don't ever. All right. Uh, oh. What what I do? Oh, uh, doing a little gardening. Nah, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yep. Why? Well, because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. All right, opening it up. What did everybody think? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say here. Hey. <laughs> All right. J JD brought it down to my neck of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. Okay, then. So I guess if there's no no change notes for it, we'll swap up to the last rolls we haven't done. So it means JD is VO1, Leslie is VO2, and I'll be the announcer. All right. Uh, <laughs> doing a little gardening? Nah. Whew. Just buried the car. You, you buried your car? Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. Uh. I meant bury it, not bury it. Uh. <laughs> Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Hey, you dumb shit.
Thoughts on that? You just gave your oh, oh, little. Oh, oh. I stepped on your toes. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That did sound a little condescending. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> what? It did? I, a little what? too condescending or or like play to the joke kind of condescending? <laughs> That's a good question. No answer? Uh, your comment afterwards as well. Yeah, I thought we were talking about the comment afterwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. That's what I thought too. It's like, what? Did I miss something? Like, Hello? Hey, you said I had to live. <laughs> <laughs> My only critique okay. would be that you did a great effort on that first line, and then by the for VO2, uh, Leslie, and then on the second line, you were like all over the workout and you're like back to normal. Oh. Like you were totally out of breath for the first oh. line, and then you didn't yeah, were out of breath gotcha. at all. There wasn't gotcha. like any recovery in there. <laughs> I That's recover quickly. I just, <laughs> I just didn't. I noticed it. So. But other than uh, that. Well, I mean, I'm on the oh, yeah, yeah, I'm coming a little bit early. So, um, when it comes to when it comes to that setting the place like that, yeah. um, depends on the commercial. Some of these, some of these like smaller insurance company commercials, and and uh, uh, you know, like some of the smaller businesses are, uh, they're usually okay with a little bit of cheese. Like, I, I don't know if, I don't know if you've really listened to many of the uh, oh, yeah. uh, commercials that are that are airing on radio right now but th that's that's mostly where a lot of these sort of smaller non like large chain company businesses do mo most of their advertising mm -hmm. and um, yeah I unfortunately listen to a little bit more talk radio than I should but in doing so <laughs> I've heard plenty better? of these kinds of uh, of commercials that are definitely uh, Definitely more on the cringeworthy side. <laughs> right. I mean, think, of, think of all the progressive commercials that have been on television. They're pretty much in the same vein. Yeah. Yeah. But I can think of a few that the entire conversation, the entire commercial is just like this. <sighs> they don't stop talking like this throughout the whole thing. And they just want you to buy a car. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> True. I cringe every time I hear those. Anyway, <laughs> um, does anybody have any any actual performance notes for us? Nope. Okay. Cool. No, I, Let's I move on to the next. <laughs> All right, Ethan, Richard, and Andrew. Okay. Can I, can I throw one thing in there real quick? Of course. Just a general note. I, I don't know if what the rules are about radio and that sort of thing. If this commercial may have sound effects. But if you've got a lot of gaps between when one person's voice ends and the next person responds, it can sound a little, yeah. uh, you know, it's got to be, it's got, I think it's got to flow a little bit quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes uh, with spots like this, they drop in a tiny music bed, you know, somewhere in the background. Mm -hmm. It's playing just enough to hear it. And, and, and of course, it's also tightened up in post. They're, you know, bringing it together. And the other thing is through Zoom, your latency makes a big difference you know when yeah. does yours end when does mine begin <laughs> just a little yeah. bit of latency on this thing so that's that, that can explain some of the gapping you know yeah but it's uh, stepping on a line as somebody is saying gardening you need to be starting with nah i just buried the car <laughs> 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 you, you don't want to go quite as much stepping on it as leslie did on the last three <laughs> 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 her uh, light bulb just came on a little early that's all <laughs> <laughs> okay uh i forgot who was number one in our group nathan I is one richard is two andrew okay. is okay nathan <clears throat> huh doing a little gardening yeah. nah i just buried the car you buried your car yeah i did why because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance, not bury it. Uh, I meant uh, bury it, not bury it. I was going to say you didn't say it right. You want to start with the last, start with that line over again. I'm going, what? where's he at? 
I meant Ian Barry Insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Uh, oh! Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What did everybody think? Opening it up, Richard. Your your uh, yeah, I did was straight out of uh, uh, the streak. Excuse me, sir. What happened? Get out of there! Yeah, yeah I did. Okay. Richard, <laughs> there, there about the mayors. Yeah, you got to run through the pole beans. Right there in front of the chicken seats. Ethel, <laughs> you get your coats <laughs> on. <laughs> My grandmother's name was Ethel, and she hated oh. that when I came out. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, I, uh, I loved your character, but you weren't <laughs> tired after you buried your car. I know. I should have been <laughs> a little more pooped. <laughs> <laughs> He's a farmer from way back. He ain't. He don't get tired till way in the end of the day. <laughs> that guy's gonna be so dumb. <laughs> so, uh, Nathan, I, I noticed you in your performance. You had a little bit of uh, of that anime caught off guard feel. You got really breathy, stumbling over yourself and whatnot. Oh Lord! Um, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of anime. And yeah, I can, I can tell. I can tell. None of me. The same thing happens to my wife too. When she watches a whole lot of anime, like she starts acting like some of these characters a little bit. Like well, he, he starts I, I, I use... some of it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to. I'd like to hear it a little bit more grounded, not so okay. you know played up All as right. it was. Yeah, I I use subbed anime to practice following lip flaps and. <laughs> well, that's good if you want to get into ADR, but I don't know if that really fits with commercials. Well, so well, also also doing anime animation, so you know it helps on that front, in 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 figuring out what that character's like if they're speaking in English instead of Japanese. So it's been, it has been a major influence on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maybe okay. just a little bit more of a comedic pace. Just pick it I up shall, a little bit. I shall dial it back just a shade. Yeah. Well, no grounded. Uh, so try to channel when you were, uh, when you were doing road construction, were you in leadership doing that? Were you like a manager or anything like that? Uh, I came awful close when I did traffic control. I had to <laughs> deal with, uh, you know, the guys out on the road turning their signs. They all had to do what I said. Well, most of the time they wouldn't. Like this one guy is like, I almost got hit by a car. It's like, I told you to stand where you could be seen from both ways. Oh, no, I need to be where I'm at. Now you don't move. <laughs> channel that. Channel, okay. channel that specifically. Like, okay. that's, that's the kind of thing that you should be going for with this. Like, I gave, you know, this was clear, clear instructions. How did it get so confused? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Doing a little gardening. No, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yeah, I did. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, to bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh, oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Was I, I more like tired that time, J.D.? I liked the pace too. Yes, you were more tired, but I liked the pace overall. Yeah, you were more tired, and the pace was better. Very much so. uh, you still had that sort of anime stumbly, though, Nathan. Okay. Did Nathan. anybody else notice that? Am I am I am I just hearing things? I'm I'd like to hear I noticed it more on the first one, but it was still there just just a touch. It wasn't as bad this time around, but it was still there just a touch. Okay. Nathan, That's something Nathan. they do in anime. They stumble over their words. Oh. Yeah. It, 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 uh, 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 if you yeah, ever watch that. anime, yeah, yeah I'm just stumbling over the words right now. Like, <laughs> but, you know, pretty much well, every every surprised situation, or every time somebody acts stupid, and the other person, the straight person, is 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 dealing with it, um, there's there's a bit of that sort of reactionary kind of thing, and 
<laughs> it takes your acting a little over the top. Mm -hmm. Just a little. And the thing of it is, is if you're following along with that and trying to perform as that character, it, you know, it, it plays into how you think when you're doing that. Yeah, I can almost yeah, often the, the Nundaska after a period. <laughs> Nundaska? <laughs> well, no, like with, with English dubs, it would it, like they they since they have to match a certain timing because you know these companies want to edit the uh, the anime as little as possible and use as much as they can of it because you know that's all work and not profit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they'll they'll do that. They'll have the English actors lengthen out what they have to say add yeah. in extra breaths and things like that and it becomes really over reactionary yeah yeah so like doing a little gardening ah, no nah, i just buried my car you 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 buried your car what yeah you know, it, it, it's okay. that kind of thing they get sort of breathy and they get a little over reactive <laughs> yeah. to what's going on and nathan was channeling that a little bit more than i think is kind of necessary in in this yeah. particular script here it seems like you're really going to play off the joke more when you know yeah. you along with the audience don't believe that this person really messed up that badly yeah i didn't need to be going racer x is going to be very mad because you buried his car yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and try it one more time. Oh, oh goodness. Good okay. Okay. Um, Nathan just said me. There was like no question to it. There was no, he just said me. You know, that's and then the, Yeah, the first line is just like, it's an ob observation instead of a question from Nathan. Okay. Doing a little gardening? Nah, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yeah, I did. Why? Because of what you said. What I said. Me? Yeah. You said if you're not happy with your car insurance, to bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. All right. What did everybody think of that performance? Our announcer is spot on. I just like well, that's what you get for someone who's union qualified, huh? Wink, wink. <laughs> 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 but anyone's hiring for a union job. Somebody staple <laughs> a SAG card to this man's chest. <laughs> no, but, um, no, I, I think this time around, you, you definitely hit more of that, you know, uh, normal everyday person being completely blown away that this person didn't do it. I, I really felt yeah. that you did that much better. Um, my one tiny nitpick, which I, I'm not going to force you guys to read again <sighs> over this. It's just a really tiny one. Uh, that, that me right there in the very, you know, towards the bottom, I think yeah. should feel a little more accusatory. Like, you know, the person just accused you of doing of, of them doing something stupid. Me? You know, yeah, like, like what, what know. did I say that made you, yes. <laughs> that made you yeah. mess up this badly? The, but um, but the, the, I don't know. The, your whole performance felt a lot more grounded, a lot more real, a lot more like you're actually reacting to this person being this stupid. And I felt that that was, that was a much better performance this time around. Thank you. I was just being myself. <laughs> and laughing you just keep being that. you richard you just keep being you you're, you're doing fine all right so shall we shuffle this up hey there's a reason why i say i'm a live cartoon <laughs> um all right yeah. so richard which spot do you want to try now via one oh, or announcer I'll, I'll do the announcer at the end this time okay I mean, all right nathan's vo1 no nathan's vo2 uh, andrew's vo2 all right Hey, doing a little gardening? Yeah, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry. Uh, I meant Ian Barry Insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh, uh, don't just insure it. 
bury it. Call Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Hey, Richard, uh, bad news. You, word. you skipped a word again. Yes, I know I went. <laughs> There's one in there that I didn't say. Don't Ian. just insure it. Bury it. Call Barry Ian Insurance Barry. at 1-800-888-9182. <laughs> you, did, you did it again. Call Ian Barry Insurance. Ian. Oh. Oh, Ian Ian. That's who I miss. Hey, this I'll do it again. <laughs> Don't you just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. <laughs> got it. A closer to the screen, Richard. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. <laughs> you have your glasses on. Yeah, so, Andrew, I, I think there. you and Nathan might be having some crazy lag or some crazy yeah. delay going on. It seems yeah. like it, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, there was. And I'm like, I'm, I'm waiting for his line. I'm waiting for him to deliver his line. And I was just quiet. And I was like, pause. Why? And then big gap. <laughs> Me? Uh, yeah, Nathan, so during, was... during, your, during your first VO2 line, that nah sounded like yeah. Okay. Did anybody else hear that? Did, it, did it, am I just the only one who heard? Yeah. No, I heard it too. Okay. He said, "Yeah." Okay. Oh, yeah, your your na sounded like yeah. I tried yeah. to emphasize. Yeah, nah. if you're gonna do it with the accent, replace the H with a W. No. There, there you go. go. Yeah. All right. So okay. go ahead. Give it another go. All right. Hey, neighbor, doing a little gardening? No, I just borrowed the car. You buried your car. Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888. 9182 or visit ianberry.com. All right. How about that performance? What did everybody think? I think we can all go home now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know where you're where you're streaming from, but hey, I, I I'm home. Yeah. I'll go home now. Okay. Um, now. Come on. See you. <laughs> My studio is three feet from the living room. <laughs> Every no, time I, yeah, I, I, I absolutely agree. It, I think that was that was a really, really solid performance all around. I, I don't really have any notes about it. And Richard, you said Ian. I know. I had it. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes. I was worried a little bit about Nathan's accent at the start because the no doesn't work with the accent he was using, but it worked. It was, yeah, all in all, it worked. It was a little bit too quick, I, but all in all, I think it was all right. I kind of tapped back into a little bit of Kentucky. And that little bit of blend of Tennessee and just kind of played off of a character that I hadn't used in a while. So, yeah, it all worked out. It, here's the thing about, here's the thing about character acting. Always have one on the ready because you never know when you're going to get to use it. Well, speaking of using different characters, shall we swap everything up? I'm yeah. number uno. All right. So Richard right. is one. Uh, Andrew's going to be two. two. And yeah, Nathan is going to be our announcer. Okay. All right. Ready, set, go. Okay. Doing a little gardening? Nah. I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. All right, opening it up. What did everybody I think? I love the, the self satisfied. No, nah, I just buried the car. 
<laughs> was, he was so satisfied with himself by finishing the job. I feel, I feel like this is like a logical continuation of a conversation they earlier had. It's like, yeah, of course I buried my car. You told me to. Yeah, I, like, yeah, I, like Richard I would like to see crazy. Andrew pull off one of those big dumb surfer guy kind of things. Oh, yeah. You do that. You know, he hangs out somewhere between Muscle Beach and Venice. <laughs> what, you mean he doesn't already? I mean, look I at know. that. You're oh, describing yeah. my real life. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, no offense, man. <laughs> I'd also like to. I mean, I mean, if somebody got to get to see you physically, they'd probably believe that you wouldn't be tired after burying a car. But I'd like that you're a little bit more tired. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What, what did you say? Tired, but... JD had something, and he got I, stuck I liked Richard's turn when he said, "I meant bury it, not bury it." There was a nice distinction between the two. Uh, when he said the second one, "I meant bury it, not bury it." There was a nice incredu incredulity. <laughs> so it words. Let me get the dictionary out. Let's see. <laughs> Have you that? I think okay. if you think about it, line two should be like they had an earlier conversation because they did. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. He's going, what are you asking me that for? I'm doing what you told me to. What yeah, the there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready again? <clears throat> ready. Here we go. Doing a little gardening? Nah, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yeah. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Can we bring in that other announcer, please? Wayne and Garth do insurance. <laughs> Forgot to come in. <laughs> Oh man, Andrew, that was he's all Nathan's uh, all looking around, waiting for somebody else to finish it. <laughs> waiting for my line. Okay, we did, sorry to wake you from your nap, but could you talk? <laughs> all right, well, hey, Andrew, uh, that was that was fantastic. You really hit that that surfer completely out of it. Yeah, I would have loved for you to add in a few more mans into what you said. Mm. Yeah, man, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it, man. <laughs> you know just like just 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 a few more times i think that was probably a little That's overdone but hey still, <laughs> still you played your character perfectly that was just that was mm. good andrew mm. thank you thank there you go, dude <laughs> i'm all right. here i really am i am all here <laughs> <laughs> I'm not it's okay. nathan, nathan has an excuse he's the one monitoring the uh the recording and taking care of all that so he's got he's got other yeah. stuff on his mind <laughs> that's not what he was looking at I've got two, two, two recordings going back to back here to make sure that this thing makes it to YouTube. <laughs> now, folks, remember this. Nathan likes to make sure stuff goes and goes right. <laughs> All righty then. So shall we move on to the next group? Yes. yes. That would be Frank or Golda, Frank, and John Stafford. Whenever you're ready, go for it. All righty. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I <laughs> don't know where that came from. <laughs> Doing a little gardening? Uh, uh, no, I just <laughs> I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yeah, yeah, sure did. <laughs> Why? Well, <sighs> because you said so. Me? Well, yeah. <laughs> He said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Uh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Okay, what did everybody <laughs> think of that performance? Ah, it the beat was my don't make the announcer laugh right before it's his turn. <laughs> Frank's tired <laughs> perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
You sounded like me after I was digging in my gopher holes. <laughs> That's an inspiration from you today, Richard. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I can help I was out. channeling a shovel and bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> um, Golda, uh, you, you got. Uh, I'm going to give you the same kind of note that uh, I gave to Nathan. You you got a little too reactionary. Okay. Like it felt like you were straining your your performance a little bit more than you needed to. Uh, okay. This is just you being caught off guard. Okay. You know. Golda's Why? been hanging out with Steve Me? Bloom. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded there like you saw a mouse. Anime. <laughs> Anime. Me. Yeah, I just like to hear a little bit more of a grounded performance from you. All right, I will be more grounded. I've been grounded. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you grounded, kid. Anything else for anybody else? No, I think we just decided to pick on you mostly. Okay, that works. Just to make it right. <laughs> I think Frank went off script. <laughs> uh, Frank did go off script a bit. He did add. He did ad lib quite a bit. Um, yes. I was just going to say, get, get something so that Golda wasn't the only one picked on. <laughs> yeah, I the ad lib. I tried to get into the ad lib later, but anyway. Go for it. Go for it. Doing a little gardening? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I just, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yep. <laughs> Why? Well, because you said, because of what you said. Me? Well, yeah. You said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian, bury insurance. <sighs> I meant bury it, not bury it. <sighs> Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Magnifico. Nice. I like that's all around. Around. That's best. I like that one. <laughs> Molto bene. I'm going to dig it up again. <laughs> yes, there was definitely a 90 to dig it up. Oh, I, got, I got the vibe from Frank that, like, I'm really sure that this isn't the right idea, but, you know, my neighbor knows what's up. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that was like a bit yeah, yeah. fantastic. And then realizing he has to call a backhoe service to dig his car back out. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully, that, like, no, that backhoe service will break the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, I mean, if the weight of the dirt already hasn't. Like, <laughs> Our wash is going to be really, yeah, expensive. <laughs> well, hey, fantastic reads. Absolutely fantastic reads. He put his car in a shallow grave. <laughs> yeah, All that right. one went really well. So switch well, it let's up. mix it up. Switch it around. Switcheroo. Who wants to take the place of announcer? I'll do it. Okay. So that means that I'm number two. All these two. All these two, and John is one. Alrighty then. Hey, doing a little gardening? Uh, nah, uh, I I just buried the car. You just buried your car? Uh, yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me. Yeah, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Oh, I meant E and bury insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. All right. What did everybody would think of that performance? I'm That's a fantastic emphasis on the Barry thing there yeah, with the yeah, I like that. That was different. I like that. <laughs> Barry that, was, that last line, Frank. I enjoyed yeah. Golda. Yeah. 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 yeah, I thought Golda did well too, JD. I like um, her enthusiasm <laughs> and her cluelessness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like, what? I don't, huh? <laughs> As the wind goes, I buried it. <laughs> As the breeze goes from that, one side to the other. I think all in all, it was absolutely fantastic. John, it, it felt really natural. Like it legitimately felt like it was just an over the fence conversation. Like that was really great. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Goldie, you, you definitely, see, you definitely played the part. Like, <laughs> Pulled off your head. I mean, I, that's, that's what he said. So I'm going to do it. Hey, why not? And that was, that was absolutely perfect. Yeah. Like <laughs> Frank emphasizing the parry spot on. You're hired. That was really good. I nice guarantee time. you that's going to stick out above everybody else that have been Great, <laughs> Great performance all around. 
All right, time to swap it up. All right, that means I'm VO1. I am an answer. And John is our VO2. You guys ready? Yep. Hey, neighbor, do doing a little gardening? Nah, I just buried the car. You buried the car? Yep. Uh, why? Because of what you said. <laughs> Me. Yeah. You said, if you're not happy with the car insurance, bury it. <sighs> I meant Ian, bury insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry, call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. My only note is that, uh, Frank, when you said Ian Barry insurance, you, we, Ian and insurance was entirely drowned out by your Barry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 uh, when you said I meant Ian Barry insurance. Oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, Ian and insurance were like drowned out in how hard you hit Barry. Oh, okay. It was very, it was very hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was very hard to make those out. <laughs> Like Otherwise, casting. you did a very good job. It was very, very hard. hard. You go. I, I thought like John needed to be uh, just a little more tired. Okay, John needs to be a little bit more tired. Joe, what was it that you wanted to say? I had a slight casting epiphany during this. I liked, I liked all three reads, but I realized that tonality-wise, Frank and John were too close, mm. so I would never <laughs> cast them across from each other. <laughs> And yeah, that's, what, that. that's a real consideration. You that's, don't know why they're casting you or not casting you, but it's like, wow, I really like both these guys, but the tone is just too close. <laughs> that's a really good like point. Like he's talking with himself. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool insight. <laughs> no, that, that is, and that is, a, yeah. that is a really good point. And uh, thankfully, this is just a practice session. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you guys give us just one last read button it all up i'd love to hear ian barry insurance a little bit more right. you know differentiated but that's my only note everything mm -hmm. else can stay exactly the same okay right. you ready guys ready hey david doing a little gardening now i just buried the car you buried your car yep wow I? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. <sighs> I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. All right. What did everybody think of that? A lot of people. Are I muted. see a lot of a lot of <laughs> nodding heads. For people who are muted. <laughs> I'm not well, muted, so I can well, talk this Frank, time. Frank, you did the same. You did the same treatment on that line. Did I still bury Ian in insurance with my Barry? Yeah. Not as strong. No, the, the, the whole. Still slightly. The whole Ian Barry insurance Barry was insurance. almost. Instead of yeah, we, Ian Barry Insurance with a real even keel. Oh, yeah. okay. Ian Barry that. and Insurance need to have the same emphasis on each word. That seems to help bring it out the That's best. That's bracket. That's okay. where you bracket. My apologies. <laughs> All right. So does everybody want to hear, hear that one more time then? Oh, we got time. Why not? Give it to us again and be a little more tired, John. I, you yeah. know, I was, <laughs> yes. I wasn't going to critique myself, but I'm glad you said When's that. the last time you used a shovel for about five hours to bury a car? You're going to be like, oh, I'd recover. Or anything. That was a long time ago. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty soft and dirty if you're getting done in five hours. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Must be Florida. <laughs> now, now. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get back to the performance. All right. Here we go. Hey, neighbor. Doing a little gardening. Yep. I just buried the car. 
you buried your car. Yeah. Uh, why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Oh, I meant Ian Barry Insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianberry.com. Hey, John was tired this time. <laughs> he was, yeah. and he was uh, tired enough to skip the nah and replace it with yeah. He, said he, yep. he was so tired he couldn't speak, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I just buried the car. Yeah, I, I am gardening. Yeah, yeah, I just buried the car. Right. I wanted to grow into a van. It didn't have enough time. Just you know, having having free. having done construction, I kind of get messing with your own head when you're in the middle of being tired. <laughs> well, anyway, oh. um, let, let's let's get into some constructive critiques here. What did everybody actually think of the performances? Let's let's go ahead and bring that up. A lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I a lot more character. <laughs> yeah, I guess with one of Frank made a good sides. point yeah. of distinguishing Ian Barry and mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. That was a great call out to the uh, yeah. uh, uh, to your uh, to the brand. Yeah, yeah I, chances I, I'll finally get something right. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I, I think my personal nitpicking is the only thing that I would change is just that nah for the VO2 line. You know, yeah. replacing yep, yeah. re replacing the yep you said with a nah. Yeah, we'll just flip it from the previous one. I, yeah, we'll just cut I, it from the last one. You did I, a fine job, anyways. I, I, yeah, I think I we got enough usable material. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Tim, uh, whenever I'd work with him in the studio, he's like, no, I got enough to edit in. You're fine. <laughs> so he's, sure, I can do it again. We got plenty of time here. Yeah, we're good. I can <laughs> edit. Yeah, it disappear. Uh, Every okay. time I've Thank done you. a television promo. <laughs> Hi. No idea. Bye, Bye. Bye Goldie. Bye, Goldie. Bye, Goldie. Bye. Hey, son. Fill up. Yep. What up, Phil? Uh, All right. Um, we'll go ahead and form a group around you afterwards. We'll probably have plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. That All sound right. cool? Well, well, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Russ, John Knowles, and Tim. Okay. Uh, when the first person you called VO1, I don't remember. Yes. Yeah, it goes the one, two, three. Yep. All right. Hey, neighbor. Doing a little gardening? Whoo! No, I, I just buried the car. You buried the car? Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Uh, I meant Ian Barry Insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh, man. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or at ianberry.com. Okay. The word what does everybody think of that performance? That, that, Sorry. Ian Roll is acting. Ian Roll is acting. Ian Roll is acting. performance. <laughs> That's good. Like that it. wasn't anything to do with the performance. That was him reading the script. He missed the word. That's yeah, awkward. Sure. Yeah, he missed the. <laughs> <laughs> Instead the of word. saying or visit is uh, at ianberry.com. Yeah. Or I at. I did it. I did it. Okay. <laughs> Overall, it was good. I liked it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Russ sounds like a neighbor. <laughs> yeah. He does. Yeah. <laughs> flow. Well, I mean, with our discussion from last week, he's, he's very, very used to. Uh, Homes and dealing with stupidity, it seems. So <laughs> I love the oh man. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was that was fantastic. That was really fantastic. Yeah, you know, all in all, I think they were really solid, except uh just just you 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 know, or visit ianberry.com. Right. Come on, Tim. Well my microphone stand was in the way. Pick it up, here. Tim, pick it up. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll do it one more time. No, I don't care. <laughs> no, I don't think that's I don't, I don't know. Why don't you go ahead and just give us your line one last time? Okay. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianberry.com. There we go. Yay. Nice. Thank you, Marimar. All righty then. Let's mix it up. <laughs> so, 
Who wants to do what? I'll do one. I'll, I'll be do okay. One. All right, Russ, looks like you are the announcer this time. Okay, that'll work. <clears throat> hey, hey, uh, doing a little gardening, huh? Nah, I just buried the car. You uh, uh, buried your car? Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Oh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. All right. What did everybody think of that? I can't picture. In Green Acres. <laughs> Golly, Mr. Douglas, he buried his car again. <laughs> well, Russ did a very happy announcer. I like that. Yes. Very, yeah. Cool. Yeah. very nice, Russ. The announcer yeah. came across real quick. I don't know if I actually heard the phone number. You know what I mean? The one hundred eight hundred eighty-two. It, 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 it came out really fast. Yeah. It, that might, I don't know. I, I, I didn't feel it was too fast personally. It, it, it may have connection. been a little bit of uh, Zoom lag, but... Yeah, there was some know, of did, that I could hear it. Did anybody else think that his uh, he was a little too quick? That um, Russ was too quick as his announcer? No, not a good bother me. No, I like the cheerfulness of it. I mean, you've just had mm -hmm. a basically a comedy <clears throat> script. You might as well have a cheerful announcer. So exactly, yeah. yeah. That can I like work. the brightness of it, <laughs> pulling everything together at the end. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it was mm -hmm. probably just zoom like then because it just came at me. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was like, yeah. It, it didn't sound like he was he was too quick that time around, but yeah, no, I really liked the tone that you chose there, Russ. I think that was it was probably the right one to end on, actually, because mm -hmm. I think probably ending this off like Don LaFontaine would be just a bit too serious. <laughs> Don't, Don't just insure it. Just insure it. it. <laughs> In a world where people bury their cars, <laughs> hey, hey, let me out of here. <laughs> right, um, find out first. Other than that, were there any other uh, performance notes that anybody had? A little more tired from uh, yeah. um, VO2. You got it. All right. Go ahead and get another shot. <clears throat> hey, man. Doing a little gardening? <laughs> nah, I, I just buried the car. Well, uh, you buried your car? Uh, yep. Why? <laughs> Because what you said. Me? Yeah, you said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Oh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Okay. What everybody think of that performance? I, I think Tim's performance came off sounding a little bit paranoid and scared more than tired. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You never you know. know. I unfortunately have to agree with that. Okay. I, okay. Hey, uh, I just buried my car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you asking? What? Why? Is What's there a man in a trunk? What is the problem? <laughs> Come here, brother. Nervous, very, very dreadfully nervous. I was and am. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Coffee? No, thank you. Okay. You look All like right. a bundle of nerves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready to do it again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, doing a little gardening? Nah, I, I just buried the car. You uh, uh, buried your car? Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said if you're not happy with your insurance, bury it. Oh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just bury it. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. <laughs> don't uh, just don't bury it. Bury it. <laughs> it. Don't <laughs> just bury it.
Yeah, bury it. Insure it first <laughs> before you bury it. Come on, logic. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a little more tired than 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 it's, you know. It's yes, weird. that was lots yeah. better. Because yes. that read before that is like you went from the the super confident, you know, yeah. guy on Green Acres to, oh my God, <laughs> I buried my car. John sounded a lot better. And my mother-in-law was in it. <laughs> John sounded a lot more believable on that one to me. Yeah, I, I did too. I thought all the way around that was a was way better, right up until you need to insure it before you bury it. <laughs> well, you need to bury it before you bury it? Bury or bury it before you insure it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, John, John was a little more conversational on this one. It felt, felt more natural. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. So we got what one more switch up on this? In the wheel. I'm in one. the wheel. So John, you're an answer this time? Yep. <coughs> and Russell, you're Russ, two. you're two? Yes, yeah. you're two. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Doing a little gardening? <sighs> no, I just buried the car. You buried your car? <sighs> yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. No, oh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Uh, oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. Opening it up. What did everybody think of that performance? John sounded like the announcer belonged to him. <laughs> no, I, he, I owned that. He owned it. A bit too much cheese going on. <laughs> and do you, do you feel it was a little over the top? A little too cheesy, yeah. A little too yeah. cheesy. Okay. Pull some Velveeta out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> like, give us some examples, Joe. Like, where? That's not even real cheese. I don't know how you get <laughs> What? What, an example of cheese or an example of no cheese? Uh, cheese. Well, we where, did. where did you, uh, yeah, was where it did you do the cheese? Don't just insure it, bury it. Call okay. Ian Barry oh, Insurance app. Okay. Oh, okay. That's over okay. the top cheese. That's probably <laughs> past where it was, but. <laughs> now that you think about it, the city of Townsville. The city of Townsville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't want to go into the uh, craft singles area. Just, uh. No. Pull off some of that Velveeta. We might go to low grade cheddars here. No cheese whiz. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that one to the Ian Barry. Sorry, uh, hang on a second, Leslie. Uh, sorry, Leslie. What was that? Oh, sorry. I think the same thing <clears throat> sounded like the same thing happened to the Ian Barry Insurance. Ian Barry Insurance. It's going. If you're uh, hitting Barry too hard. Yeah. Yeah. One. yeah I, I agree did. with that too. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. I think it's got something to do with them both starting with an I too. IBI, yeah, probably. Maybe is I bad? No, it's the same letter. Oh, <laughs> I is good. I is <laughs> always good. I like the uh, the incredulity on the me though, and that felt very satisfying to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would say if when you when you get to the Ian Barry Insurance, make sure that each one of those has a spot remember you're trying to clarify yes you said barry and that was the only thing that the person heard but you're talking ian yeah. barry insurance i got an idea for that uh i meant c a t spell cat right. c a t i meant ian barry insurance there you, there go. you go there you there go, you that you go. Be, yeah go ahead go just dive right into it give us another read Spalash. doing a little gardening uh, no, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yep. Why? Because, because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Oh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Uh, oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianberry.com. That was gold. Buenísimo. It's on Gilbert. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Great. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> all around. Don't we all just do that? 
Did you? <laughs> that was great. Good job there, Dan. Thanks for that. No, yeah, that really changed Thank up you, the read. The whole nice thing. piece of direction, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. D-A-N. Dan. D-A-N. <laughs> Here's to you, lady. <laughs> oh, I didn't know how to spell my name before. But thanks. <laughs> thanks, Ned. <laughs> thanks, Ned. I'm Mitt. Good to see you. <laughs> All righty, then. Um, we don't need any Mad, more Nevin, in that group. Yeah. It's the next nope. one in, right? Yep. Mad, Nevid, and Iaj. I mean, Dan, Devin, and Joe. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little gardening? I thought I was voice Gio one. No, Gio I'm two? one. I've been oh. one. I was one. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'll take you then. I was reading it. I wrote it down as one. Huh? I nothing. That doesn't matter. Doing a little gardening? I'll take two. <sighs> all right, all right. No. Hard reset, hard reset. Hang on. Start from the beginning. Now. Doing a little gardening? No. Oh, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Ooh, yep. Why? Oh, because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. <laughs> oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. <laughs> Dan had me cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody's ever seen Alien from L.A. You have to be a oh, mystic yeah. to know what that is. Okay. Well, Devin was pulling off that character very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know something about her performance, something about that breathiness sort of made me feel like this was set in like the 1950s. Yeah, yeah she, she, she touched on Marilyn Monroe in there, too. I, yeah, could, just a little I bit caught too. that. Yeah, yeah. I heard that too. I, 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 not that's not bad Nothing at all. I actually that. thought that the entire <laughs> performance altogether was really what well, was really good. Yeah. It's just that it's definitely a different take than a, uh, a different uh, angle. <laughs> oh yeah. So don't do the air hat. Oh no no no! no, 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 no. That was a good, good performance. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It was good. It was a good performance. I mean, Joe's tagline could be like a 50s announcer, too, at the same time. Yeah. You literally really yeah. pulled from these characters yeah. just, just right. I mean, like I said, I don't know if you had seen Alien from L.A., but you were pulling that that particular character off. She's really airheaded, you know, and just – and that pitch right there, okay? Down at Whole Foods the other day, and some chick sat down with that baby voice and started talking to her husband in it, and I just <laughs> went the scene. I mean, That's it was real. Laughing. There, there you go. That, but these are the people we get our characters from. Yep. <laughs> yep. The, yeah. the people won't talk in public anymore if you tell them that. Hey, look, I got Miss Manji from a combination of characters, you know. <laughs> yes, take note now. Here, Break out the phone and start recording. My yeah. <laughs> All righty then. So shall we swap everything up? Sure. sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, uh, Dan, you said you wanted I'll, to do an answer? I'll go ahead and go to the announcer. I want to okay. say two. I'll be VO1 then. Okay. All right, Joe, you get to play around with VO2. Good okay. noise. Let's see what you got. Okay. Hey, doing a little gardening? <laughs> nah, I just, I just buried the car. You buried the car? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, because of what you said. Me? Yeah, you You said, uh, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. Uh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Ah, oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. All right. What did everybody think of those performances? 
Nice interpretation. I knew I should have done that after June. <laughs> Dan's over there recovering from laughter. Uh, GBR. Uh, oh, oh. Ooh. Actually, uh, Joe, I, I think your performance was a little too laughy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the entertainment value was wonderful. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, the, like, the, the, the feel and the rest of the performance is great. I just personally felt it was a little too laughy. I don't know. Does anybody disagree with me? No, it felt like you found something really good at the end. Yeah. Like you found the ah spot. Well, well, okay. Fireworks, one of the two. Yeah, I mean, if you were going to do that, I I'd love to hear maybe like a, a mid ooh tone change, like a uh oh sort of thing. I was doing a roll of threes. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, is that Ah, <laughs> I'd like to hear that as an ABC style read, please. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> why you like it? What you oh. get <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and get back to it, isn't it? <laughs> Does anybody have any notes on the performances themselves? <laughs> anybody else? No, no, no. okay. Um, then I guess it, it's a good switch time. Up again. Yeah, last switch up. Bob, yeah. yeah. Announcer. Two. Yep, one. Uh, hey, doing a little gardening? Now, I just finished burying my car. You buried your car? Yes, sir. Well, why? Be well, because of what you said. Me, me, what, what I said? Yeah, you, you said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, then I should just, just bury it. Uh, I, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I, I meant bury it, not bury it. Uh, uh, oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. <laughs> um, I like the way that Dan was so proud of how well I he buried his car. His car. <laughs> he was so <laughs> proud of hey. God he did. Uh, you want a medal? <laughs> so proud of himself. <laughs> uh, but that dirt was hard and I buried it, dog, don't it? <laughs> <Not done. laughs> oh. It totally came across great. really good, Dan. That was just like, yeah. nope, I buried a car, and I did yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, as your as your neighbor, I have a feeling I always keep a shovel on hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and a straight jacket. <laughs> oh, that was uh, hilarious. By the way, where's the cat? <laughs> <laughs> softly, but yeah, softly muffled in the background. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, that thing Lord. blow us. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, any performance I think, notes? Anything maybe that uh, the actors should have changed up a little bit? Uh, I yeah, think I Joe perfect. lacked a little enthusiasm on on the on the sponsor. It just, okay, but that was his. Yeah, I, I think that was it. his character, though. It yeah, yeah, like I, I, but yeah, it could have been the character. Yeah. yeah, but that still needs to be. It's yeah. that still needs a punch. Even if if you if you're doing character, you still got to punch the name. So. Oh yeah. So then punch Ian. Punch it, man. Punch it. <laughs> T A T. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm... Go for it one more time from the top. Let's hear some okay. more Ian than that. Okay. Doing a little gardening. No. I just finished burying my car. You you buried your car. Uh yes, sir. Uh why? Well, be, because of what you said. Uh, me, what what I said. Well, yeah. You said if you're not happy with your car insurance, then uh just bury it. Uh, I meant Ian Barry insurance. I, I meant bury it, not bury it. Huh? Oh. Uh... Don't just insure it. Bury it. 
Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianberry.com. All right. Better? Nice. Much? Yeah. No. No, I, heard, I heard a little police yeah. interrogation there in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I, I think Dan was living. more proud of what he did on the previous take, but <laughs> Joe was good on this one. We got enough info. We can put it together. No problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. I try not to go full Cletus. <laughs> Cletus. <laughs> you were so proud on the. <laughs> it was like, yes, sir, I did. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Toss him on oh. gun, but she buried his car. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear the oh, man oh, talking to the <laughs> Dan, Dan, I want to hear the full hillbilly spot. Doing a little gardening, are you? <laughs> <laughs> now, I just buried the car. You buried your car? <laughs> yes, sir. And why would you do that, why, Tarnish? Well, well, because of what you told me, what you said. I said what I said. Yeah. Yeah, you said if if you're not happy with your car insurance, then I gotta just bury it. Oh, I see. I meant and bear insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Huh? Uh <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't just <laughs> No, we're going we're going full, yeah, full Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm doing Hillbilly, too? Yeah. 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 On Hillbilly. Let's do it. But don't just insure it. Bury it. Call him Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182. Or visit ianbarry.com. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. nice. Childhood <laughs> flashbacks to watching Hee Haw. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Ellie Mae. Now that we got that out of our systems, shall we finally a, create a group a for Phil? Yes, we need yes, to create please, a group for please. Phil. Let's, let's get a Phil group going. Uh, so I'll let Phil, Phil pick his partners. There you go. That? Let Phil pick his partners. Phil picks his partners. Okay. Cool. okay. Good idea. Me? Yes, Phil, you get to choose who you get to read with. You're in who do you okay. want to be in? I choose the mic check VO workout and Mike's phone. <laughs> Hang on, let me go for this one, one, one more time. Best reads of the night. Yeah. <laughs> Best reads of the night. He's definitely going to need someone to play off of. So, or I could also choose Dan and JD. You could do that uh, as well. Now, who's who? Oh. You know who you are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to start myself on VO, VO1. JD, uh, I want you on VO2. And Dan, I want you to announce. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go. Doing a little gardening? Oh, I, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yeah. Why? Well, because of what you said. Me? Yeah, he said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, oh, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1 800 888 9182 or visit ianbarry.com. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, right. was, was Dan trying to eat the microphone and talk at the same time? Oh, I think he was man. having a cheese sandwich. <laughs> I've heard that announcer somewhere before. Oh, I was going to say extra cheese on that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> That's not a cheeseburger. That's a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's not get the performances cheese. here, shall we? What did everybody think of the performances? Give Phil what he needs, yeah. Yeah, specifically Phil. We've already torn apart JD and Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Phil was a good straight man. I think he just needed more yeah. feeling behind it. Absolutely. More feeling? Yeah. 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 A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a little yeah. more friendliness. Uh yeah. like uh, neighborly friendliness instead of like just, be, be just somebody walking by. Yeah. 
despite what a numbskull he is, you still kind of like him for whatever reason. Lord, he's a good point. No, uh, it's probably because of stories like this. You probably go back and tell your friends all about, hey, I got another one for my, I got another one about my neighbor. Get this. He just buried his car. His car. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I actually have neighbors who have. So, <laughs> holy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we gotta we'll get out of the yard on this one. We'll just uh, we'll get a bleep button and just bleep out the rest of it while <laughs> he flaps his lips. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, just a little bit more, uh, yeah, neighborliness. You, you get what I mean. Go for yeah. it. Okay. All right. Take two. Doing a little gardening. No, I just buried the car. You. Buried your car? <laughs> sure. Why? Oh, because of what you said. Me? Well, yeah. You said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Don't just insure it, bury it. Call Ian Barry Insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianbarry.com. All right. What about that performance? Wow, that was calm, Dan. Yeah, Very yeah calm. that was. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was, that was almost somber. <laughs> I was, Don't just yeah, insure it. Still did a better job on that. I like that. I, I like can imagine it an 80 year old yeah. guy trying to bury a car. <laughs> I loved it, JD. That was awesome. And Phil, you were uh, much more not condescending, but I can't believe friendly. you did something. Yeah, else. I like yeah. it a lot better that time. Phil. Okay. Yes. I think, Phil, before you say I meant bury it uh, or I meant Ian Barry Insurance, there should be some kind of like, Oh, that's what he's talking about. Right. He just kind of went right into the line. Okay. There was no like, whoa, oh, yeah, oh, okay, or whatever. But other than that, it's great. All right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do you want to play the Nincom Poop this time around or the announcer? I will be VO2, please. Okay. <laughs> For a hundred dollars, VO2. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan, you'll be VO1 and JD like will be the number? this time around. The announcer, please. All right. So you're doing a little gardening? Nah, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianberry.com. <laughs> well, I see we've uh, certainly given up on taking these any sort of seriously. <laughs> no. The cheese is out, everybody. Yeah, the cheese is out. Stuart Network. I think, I think we have government uh, cheese out. Know, uh, but, uh, but Phil, I love the... Um, I love the angle of, of going with like the sophisticated sound yes. with the really <laughs> dumb action. I actually <laughs> really like that. I thought that worked. An oxymoron. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was that was a perfect oxymoron for you right there. That was <laughs> Sorry, one. Devin, did you have something you were saying? No, I just agree. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I thought JD just finished eating a nice big bowl of Frankenberry. <laughs> <laughs> tonight is stupendous I, think I did it backwards I said it's an afterthought it's Phil who needs to work at that moment <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. my. Phil should do it again and and be worn out this time to get his yep. practice and I'm being all tired. right yeah it's more tired <laughs> more tired Phil what are you kidding dogs, he's yeah. got people at working for him he's got somebody else <laughs> In the right. he just, <laughs> should he be tired? He's not going to do the digging. Damn, yeah, done. He had the hired help doing the burying. I just <laughs> the servants bury the car. 
Uh, bye, <laughs> bye, Joe. See you, Joe. <laughs> See you, Joe. Take it easy, Joe. Take care, Joe. Thanks, Joe. All righty, then. So, one more time, except be a little bit more tired. God, it's... Doing a little gardening. <laughs> nah, I just buried the car. You buried your car? Yep. Why? Because of what you said. Me? Yeah. You said, if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it, not bury it. Oh. Don't just insure it. Bury it. Call Ian Barry insurance at 1-800-888-9182. Or visit ianberry.com. <laughs> He's the station announcer, and, and they just don't want to get rid of him. <laughs> no, that's the, insu- that's the actual insurance guy doing his own. Dan, you were half English, half stoner. What's the point? You were stoning. I have a proper term for that as Cockney. <laughs> oh <laughs> shoot! <laughs> Either with or without the end. <laughs> um, I-, I almost expected you to say, uh, you know, the uh, the horse drawn carriage rather than the car. <laughs> okay. And JD was channeling crazy Eddie Antar. Pretty. Yeah, much. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> exactly. Where's the BCRs at? So this has definitely become more of a character study. We were I'd done with I'd, serious, yeah. uh, serious attempts. Now it seems okay. It's over. <laughs> it's uh, over. Serious. <laughs> well, like uh, let, why don't uh, why don't we have one more where Dan and JD get to play the crazy two, and um, we'll have Phil be the announcer for this one, and then Woo-hoo! then we'll be into the meat of the whole thing. Ooh. Who do you want to be, Dan? Huh? I guess I am too. Two. All right. You doing a little gardening? Nah, dude. I just buried the car. (laughs) You buried the car? Yeah, man. (laughs) Why? Well, because of what you said. (laughs) Me? Yeah. Dude, you said if you're not happy with your car insurance, bury it. (laughs) I meant Ian Barry insurance. I meant bury it not bury it uh don't just insure it bury it call Ian bear insurance at 1-800-888-9182 or visit ianberry.com <laughs> <laughs> all right cool hey dan all you had to say was hey dan <laughs> At the end, you just said, oh, bummer. Or something equally as cringy, like, oh, not oh, radical, man. Oh, man. Not, yeah, I think the Spicoli character plays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 you should do the dueling Spicolis, Andrew and Dan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just uh, harsh oh, my gosh. own buzz, man. <laughs> uh, All righty, then. Nice. Cheech and Chong. <laughs> I believe that was everybody. I yes, guess. it was. So we had uh, we had some really great solid reads. We had some really great character reads. Uh, you know, I mean, it got a little silly awesome. at the end of it. But hey, why not? We're uh, we're all here to practice everything that we can. Yeah. So uh, I think everybody did a fantastic job. And, Nathan, I'm gonna hand it over to you for now. And, and, and honestly, you get more pra- You get better practice when you're having fun with your practice. Mm. Mm. because you know? I mean, what we do is a lot of fun. Even if it's a serious read, it's a lot of fun and you can have fun with it, you know, and you can have fun with us if you come on down and join us every week, seven o'clock Eastern, four o'clock Pacific, right here at the mic check. Oh, yeah. And um, hit that little subscribe button in the bell. Guys watching YouTube, you know, hit the bell so you can know what we're up to. We got a lot of great things going on. Great 
great, great things coming up within the next week. So get ready. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Join us every Monday for free script practice. You can also find the mic check on Facebook and Twitter. If you liked what you saw, then subscribe for more.